Hey, what's up there, everybody? It's your boy, Chris from Gaming. Now, I have another farming video. Now, you're going to want to be able to at least be able to defeat the Dancer. So, you're going to need to be at least a mid-level um, in the game. I'd say about... This would be, I suggest, for level 50 and up. Like, about level 50 to 100. This is a pretty good area. You have to at least defeat the dancer. I suggest having some friends help you. And if not, then I have a video on my channel of me defeating it in my new game. Um, but this is a good little farming spot at first when you first start playing the game. It's actually really helpful, but you have to be able to know how this guy works. And he does take a few... It takes. It took me a few times, a few deaths, deaths to get used to how... He played. Now you're going to have to beat the, beat the dancer, and you can get behind here like so, as you're seeing me do right now. And it's actually a nice little circuit. I usually go back, and I'll go back and defeat the Lothric Knights that are behind me, but they only give you about, uh, after you kill about the blue one and the other three, about 2,000 souls. Now this guy up here, he'll give you about 5,000. Not up there. Don't go that way. He is an absolute cunt. Now, if you have a weapon buff, I suggest be able to use it. You're gonna want that extra little damage you can do. Because this guy tends to be a pain. But he will give you good loot as well that you can also sell for extra souls. And it's best if you can actually think up on him real quick. I only kill him so quick because I do owe so much damage on him. But after you kill him, you're gonna wanna go up here and go rest back at the bonfire and restart. And then I normally go back and go kill the Lothric Knights. But it depends how quick you kill him. If it takes too long then I don't I suggest not doing it. But he is definitely worth it when you're have lower level to get more souls really quick because after after about a good little bit you you start to gain a lot of souls and it will start to add up and it will start going towards your benefit and it can help a lot when you're at a younger kind of level a lower kind of level now eventually if you were to go through the circuit out here you'll be able to open this door and there's about two guys in here and you'll get about a decent amount of souls in there as well so you can get about <coughs> about one playthrough a little over 10,000 souls in just like a few minutes work Compared to spending a while and having to farm for a few. Now, now be careful, he hits hard. And don't let him be able to charge his weapon with a blessing, because that will hit you, hit you so hard. See, I'm already at 34,000 when I first started. I was about 14,000. That's about 20 souls in about 2-3 minutes already. That's not bad at all, honestly. And that's about it for, for this video. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I have higher level farming videos on my channel. Don't forget to check those out. And I have a I have I also have a ganking video of Pontiff Sullivan coming out soon. That's gonna be actually really fucking funny. But peace out guys, I'll see you guys in the next one.